uh, delegates from around the world come and acknowledge the urgency of the issues um, and start to put together a plan to really do things differently. For the first time, we have people talking face to face with those who hold power. We want the world to hear that uh, as women and girls with disabilities, we are partners. We are not the beneficiaries. We are your friends, your sisters, your children. We want to show the people that, of course, yes, we are refugees, but we want to feel that we are accepted where we are living. We are working on an employment app, which I'm really excited about, and there are people who are working on translation apps. This is where we need technology to step in and help the refugees. We've created a global addressing system, the simple address made of three words. After an earthquake, for example, it means everybody has a simple way to talk about where aid needs to get to. Nobody is off the map, even if the landscape's changed. The private sector is here, we're here to help, we have expertise, we have knowledge we can bring to assist you, help those in need. Please talk to us. We do have the knowledge, the capacities, the technology and the organizational skills to make sure that people do not have to die, they do not have to be sick. On peut faire changer les choses, on peut chacun à notre niveau faire quelque chose et apporter notre petite pierre à l'édifice. What affects you affects me. One humanity, shared responsibility. My hope is that this time we will not only commit, but we will hold ourselves to those commitments in the years ahead. Take this message, be local, be vocal, be social, be digital, and be global. Inclusion and access. We must not exclude people. People must feel equality.